this Thursday afternoon, the active weather pattern has been with us again. And for tomorrow, things will be a little bit drier, but we can still expect there to be afternoon showers and storms. The heaviest rain moved through the Dothan area earlier in the day, but now things are looking pretty good on the clear scan on action radar. The heaviest cells are well to the east of us out near Bainbridge. That's moving to the northeast out of the area, so not going to be a concern for much longer. Just a few sprinkles will be with us as we do head into the early evening hours and then overnight, largely dry. Drying off a bit, keeping the cloud cover around. Also, Max Sky HD is painting in some fog out there, so be careful on the roadways overnight. And also, first thing tomorrow morning, there is a chance that we could have some uh, patches of some fairly dense fog, but that'll burn off pretty quickly as the sun rises and temperatures heat up. We will be in the upper 80s for high temperatures for Friday afternoon. With that, there is a chance that a few storms will be on the stronger side, producing some gusty winds, just like today, but nothing should reach severe limits. At least that's the way things stand right now. A little bit warmer for Saturday, Sunday, similar. Conditions, but then the cooler and drier air will be moving in next week. That's when our temperatures will be right on average for us finally, but the low temperatures are still going to be staying on the mild side. We have a cold front that's making its way into the southeast very slowly. Strong storms are to our north in the upstate of South Carolina, but we have this moisture flowing in off the Gulf of Mexico, and that's why we've been uh, dealing with those high rain chances right along this front. That's going to be stalling out over us as we head into the weekend, but we're going to be on the right side of this front where we'll have some drier air working into the region, so those rain chances will be considerably lower, not as widespread as they have been throughout the past couple days. There we go, Friday, 10 o'clock in the morning. Mix of sun and cloud showers developing to our south as that front settles in. We'll have a westerly component to the wind, and that'll help to bring that drier air in, and then really helping conditions to dry out a bit, especially as we head into Friday evening for football. Saturday, as we head into the early morning hours, a bit of cloud cover, and then it's in the afternoon, right along that cold front, that almost stationary boundary where we could have some showers and a few storms pop up. In the tropics, still tracking the same couple of systems that we have been for the past a uh, couple of days, actually. What's left over of Leslie has a 90% chance of redeveloping into a tropical system over the next couple of days. And Kirk is a weakening tropical storm heading into the Caribbean Sea, looking pretty good on satellite imagery as far as that convection. But the center is actually right about here. So it's very lopsided, a lot of wind shear in there. So that's why it's going to be weakening over the next couple of days and then likely dissipating. 50 mile per hour sustained winds yesterday at this time, they were 60 miles per hour. And as it moves, to the east, likely weakening to tropical depression status very early Saturday morning before it turns into a remnant low. For tonight, our low temperature will be in the lower 70s. A few showers will be with us early on, maybe a few passing showers overnight, but overall, most locations will be fairly dry and mostly cloudy. And then for tomorrow, 88 degrees for that high temperature. Showers move in, and then that temperature will drop off and be fairly muggy as you head out the door for any of the high school football games. Low end rain chances stick around for this weekend. Monday, will be somewhat elevated compared to the rest of next week, where we'll be looking at just isolated shower and storm chances. Pretty low rain chances for Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, rather, especially high temperatures in the upper 80s each day, with the exception of Monday, mid-80s. But there should be at least three days in a row where we will make it down into the 60s. Very, very welcome. It is welcome. We're excited to see that. Yeah. Mr. Roberts, good stuff. Thank you, sir.